It is Friday, August 28th, 2020, and it's 6.51 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to read 2 Chronicles chapter 18. But first, I want to say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And Father, forgive us our sins as we forgive those who have sinned against us. And forgive us our debts as we forgive those who are indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. In Jesus' name, amen. And I'm, I'm really, really, really struggling. I can't seem to, I can't seem to find the fruit of the Spirit. I can't seem to find joy. I'm just miserable. <laughs> and the Word of God, this Old Testament, reading this, is just making me more and more miserable. None of this Old Testament reading is making me have any hope at all. <laughs> but I know I need to read it. <laughs> <laughs> it was there's a U, there's a YouTube channel called For Christ's Glory, Amen. And he takes walks in the he is in California and he takes walks and and he shows the terrain around him and you can hear his footsteps. And the video he posted four hours ago is called Signs of the End. Finish the race. And I feel like I feel like I don't have any legs to finish the race. I feel like I don't have anything to finish the race and that I'm struggling. I'm struggling to do it. And I just don't have anything. I just don't have anything to, to be in this world for I hate this world I just want Jesus so now we're going to read 2nd Chronicles chapter 18 and it ought to just be a joy I'm sure more about horrible god awful kings and how horrible they were I don't know I don't understand I mean, I guess I do understand why the Lord had me start at Revelation and read backward through the New Testament. And then he had me go to Psalms and Proverbs. And then he had me go backwards through the Old Testament. But then he stopped me at Esther and told me to go to Genesis. And now I'm reading forward and it's just like, getting through this is misery. It's awful. No wonder the Jews are miserable people. No wonder they're rich, too. You can tell reading all this why, you know, why actually, not they're not all rich. You have the Jews who are oppressed in other nations that have been oppressed forever. And I bet you anything that they're the ones who, who are going to be saved by Jesus. Not going to be these, these sons of bitches that are running shit, that are run, that are running the banks and that are running Hollywood and that are running the whole world, that are sitting at the table, controlling everything, controlling the stock market and making sure that the rest of us are miserable. It's not going to be them. It's going to be it's going to be the Russian Jews, the Ethiopian Jews, the ones who have who've been living with nothing for all these years. 
It's going to be them who are saved. Not the rest of them. So don't tell me, you Jews in America, that any of you are oppressed. You're all a bunch of assholes. Now Jehoshaphat had riches and honor and in abundance and joined affinity with Ahab. No kidding. And after certain years, he went down to, Ahab, down to Ahab to Samaria. And Ahab killed sheep and oxen for him in abundance. And for the people that he had with him and persuaded him to go up with him to Ramoth Gilead. And Ahab, king of Israel, said unto Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, Wilt thou go with me to Ramoth Gilead? And he answered him, I am as thou art, and my people as thy people, and we will be with thee in the war. And Jehoshaphat said unto the king of Israel, Inquire, I pray thee, at the word of the Lord to, to, today. Therefore the king of Israel gathered together the prophets, four hundred men, and said unto them, Shall we go to Ramoth Gilead to battle, or shall I forbear? And they said, Go up. For God will deliver it into the king's hand. But Jehoshaphat said, Is there not here a prophet of the Lord besides that we might inquire of him? At least Jehoshaphat was smart enough to look for a prophet of the Lord. He wasn't that ignorant. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, There is yet one man by whom we may inquire of the Lord, but I hate him. <laughs> Imagine that. For he never prophesied good unto me, but always evil. Huh. The same is Micaiah, the son, the son of Imla. And Jeho Jehoshaphat said, Let not the king say so. And the king of Israel called for each of his officers and said, Fetch quickly Micaiah, the son of Imla. And the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, sat either of them on, on his throne, clothed in their robes, and they sat in a void place at the entering of the gate of Samaria, and all the prophets prophesied before them. And Zedekiah, the son of Kenaniah, had made him horns of iron, and said, Thus saith the Lord, With these thou shalt push Syria until they be consumed. And all the prophets prophesied so, saying, Go up to Ramoth Gilead and prosper, for the Lord shall deliver it into the hand of the king. And the messenger that went to, to call Mica Micaiah spake to him, saying, Behold, the words of the prophets declare good to the king with one assent. Let thy word, therefore, I pray thee, be like one of theirs, and speak thou good. And Micaiah said, As the Lord liveth, even what my God saith, that will I speak. And when he was come to the king, the king said unto him, Micaiah, shall we go to Ramoth Gilead to battle, or shall I forbear? And he said, Go ye up, and prosper, and they shall be delivered into your hand. And the king said unto him, How many times shall I adjure thee, that thou, that thou say nothing but the truth to me in the name of the Lord? Then he said, I did see all Israel scattered upon the mountains as sheep that have no shepherd. And the Lord said, These have no master. Let them return therefore every man to his house in peace. And the king of Israel said to Jehoshaphat, Did I not tell thee that he would not prophesy good unto me but evil? Again he said, Therefore hear the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting upon his throne, and all the hosts of heaven sitting on his right hand and on his left. And the Lord said, Who shall entice Ahab, king of Israel, that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Gilead? And one spake, saying after this manner, and another after saying after that manner. Then there came out a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will entice him. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go out and be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And the Lord said, Thou shalt entice him, and thou shalt also prevail. Go out, and do even so. Now therefore, behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of these thy prophets, and the Lord hath spoken evil against thee. Then Zedekiah, the son of Kenaniah, came near and smote Micaiah, Micaiah upon the cheek, and said, 
which way went the Spirit of the Lord for me to speak unto thee? And Micaiah said, Behold, thou shalt see on that day when thou shalt get into an inner chamber to hide thyself. Then the king of Israel said, Take ye Micaiah and carry him back to Ammon, the governor of the city, and to Joash, the king's son, and say, Thus saith the king, Put this fellow in the prison, yeah, and feed him with bread of affliction and with water of affliction until I return in peace. And Micaiah said, If thou certainly return in peace, then hath not the Lord spoken by me? And he said, Hearken, all ye people. So the king of Israel and Jehoshaphat, the king of Judah, went up to Ramoth Gilead. And the king of Israel said unto to Jehoshaphat, I will disguise myself and will go to battle. But put thou, put thou on thy robes. So the king of Israel disguised himself and they went to the battle. <laughs> now the king of Syria had commanded the captains of the chariots that were with him, saying, Fight ye not with small or great, save only with the king of Israel. And it came to pass when the captains of the chariots saw Jehoshaphat, that they said, It is the king of Israel. Therefore they compassed about him to fight. But Jehoshaphat cried out, And the Lord helped him, and God moved them to depart from him. For it came to pass that when the captains of the chariots perceived that it was not the king of Israel, they turned back again from pursuing him. And a certain man drew a bow at a venture and smote the king of Israel between the joints of the harness. Therefore he said to the chariot man, Turn thine hand, that thou mayest carry me out of the host, for I am wounded. And the battle increased that day. Howbeit the king of Israel stayed himself up in his chariot against the Syrians until the even and about the, and about, and about the time of the sun going down, he died. <laughs> Dude, this is just like the leaders today. They think they're smarter than God.